Hi, Marbs here. And today, instead of talking about the fact that uh, Microsoft is rejoicing over finally closing the Activision Blizzard merger, instead, I'm making a recording here that I thought I would never make. It would appear that physical media, at least in the traditional sense of purchasing it, is undergoing another transition. Now, what kind of transition is this? Well, let me tell you. Best Buy has announced that they are exiting the DVD and physical Blu-ray and 4K Blu-ray media business, both in-store and also online. Now, that may come as a little bit of a shock, and some people aren't going to be real happy about it. But let's be real. They, you know, this is something that has been shrinking in Best Buy retail units for a long time. And something that we really shouldn't have expected. I mean, it, it, you know, it was going to happen sooner or later. Because Best Buy is not making money selling people Blu-rays and DVDs at retail. So now it's only common to suggest that physical media for console systems is going to be the next to go. Rumor has it, um, some loose talk that uh, Marbs has been hearing seems to indicate that uh, retailer Walmart has announced that they'll be shrinking their Xbox physical section even more this year while looking to perhaps move towards liquidating it altogether at some point in favor of Xbox hardware only. Now, what does that mean? I think if that happens, I think you're going to see what we've been seeing at Target, what we've been seeing at Best Buy, Walmart. They're all going to do the same thing. They're going to shrink the amount of physical Xbox games that they have available for purchase. Now, what does that really mean? Well, one of the contributors to it is... A lot of the games are skipping physical releases altogether, and if there is a physical release, it's only for some successful titles and only if a third party comes in to do the release. But take Ghostwire Tokyo, Deathloop. Neither one, um, Deathloop did get a physical release of a standard edition, while Ghostwire Tokyo from you know Bethesda did not get a physical release at all. And, you know, on Xbox, well, it did on PlayStation. I think you're going to see more of that. And I do think that uh, that just goes to show you that the amount of physical that they are selling for Xbox is just not as robust as it used to be. I think, you know, people say to me, well, what does this mean? Does this mean I'm not going to be able to get physical games for my Xbox? No, this doesn't mean that. It just means that you're going to have to change the way that you buy the games. There's going to be more ordering direct. There's going to be more going straight to the retailer to get it. There's going to be more ordering from Amazon because that's exactly where the exclusive for the title is going to be. I also think you're going to see fewer chances on collector's editions, steel books. You know, I said to somebody here recently, for me, the steel book disappearance has been one of the biggest things that I can't believe. It used to be that we would get new steel books all the time. Now, we're not even getting those anymore. And sometimes um, they're only available in other regions. They're not even available in North America anymore. Um, even if you pre-order. Now, for a while there, we were able to get Steelbooks through Best Buy on pre-orders with the games, um, but Best Buy seems to be moving away from that too, and I think this is all in a response to moving away from physical media in general. I don't know that physical media is going to go away. I think that a lot of people interpreted the leak of the Brooklyn console as physical media is going away. I would encourage everyone to look at the approach that Sony's taking and that if you want a drive for physical media, you can add one. I really think that 
Brooklyn is probably going to feature the ability to add an external Blu-ray drive if you want one. And I think that that's going to be for both backwards compatibility as well as preservation. If Xbox is really going to walk the walk that they've been talking about preservation, and nobody has done backwards compatibility better than Xbox. I mean, they have done an amazing job, and I think that that's something that should be applauded. But if they start moving to an all-digital console with the drive no longer available, the option to use discs for backwards compatibility will slowly disappear. Not to mention all the licenses that people have acquired on these discs will no longer be available to Xbox users to use. Now, Game Pass, I do think, is a good thing, and I'm not suggesting that it's not. It has brought a world of new games and new attention to a variety of developers. But is it impacting physical sales? The answer is yes. And I'll give you a very good example. Uh, recently in a Twitter exchange that I had with somebody, they were saying, you know, it's really great. This game is now available in physical. It only came out three weeks ago, and it's already down to $39 on physical, but it's still a full 70 bucks if you want to buy it digital. And I responded to him, said, you know, yeah, you're right, but here's the thing. I tell people about the value of collecting physical all they want, and if you want the cheapest licenses and to play your games, some Sometimes physical is the best way to get it, but nine times out of ten, friends of mine will still say, yeah, but the digital convenience, you can't beat it. I think in the end, that is the end result, is that the reason physical is disappearing is because the convenience of having digital access licenses rather than owning physical discs has just become something that we never ever thought was going to happen. Many of us who've collected uh, multiple platforms in multiple years, but it is here. And I do think this probably will be the last generation of Xbox that will fully support uh, backwards compatibility via disc. Now, that doesn't mean that future consoles may not be able to support it using an external Blu-ray drive. I honestly think that's what Microsoft's going to do. Because I think that in order to do what they want to do going forward and really move to the digital ecosystem, I think that the fact that you're going to have the ability to still use the old games that are in the ecosystem is something that they don't really want to turn their back on. And from a preservation perspective, I think it's the right thing to do. But still, the end of physical is near. Will I stop collecting physical? No. Will I still try to ride it out for Xbox One, Xbox Series consoles till the end? Probably so. I'm a glutton for punishment, but I am Marbs, and I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Please subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye now.